Hello fellow YouTubers and viewers and friends out there. It's Mr. Leonidas. I hope you're doing well. And uh, this video is dedicated to uh, Armory Plastics. And they uh, recently uh, were kind enough to send me two kits uh, for Kydex knife sheaths. And if you're not familiar with Armory Plastics, they actually provide uh, some of the knife sheaths and hardware for uh, some of the Topps knives made in the USA. So they're, they're a really cool company. Like I said, they were thoughtful enough to send me um, a two kits so that I could actually do um, a sort of a, a video review of these and uh, show you, uh, give you my take of them. And um, I have to say, I'm actually really, really impressed. Um, so what I've got here is this is a Boker Tactical, uh, just a, a small fixed blade, Boker Vox. And uh, what I've done here is this is one of the kits they sent me. And uh, all it is is just one piece of Kydex sandwiched over. It is riveted, and then they provide um, one of these little belt loops that, all, that also goes through Molly and Pal's webbing. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like without the knife. So here is the kit on its own. As you can tell, it has a sort of a beefy sort of ramp where your knife is, you know, gives you plenty of room to slide your knife in there. And then it also comes with this uh, a clip like that. And it's something you're going to see on like these slice steel uh, knives. That neat little uh, sort of plastic based uh, clip. And then that. And then it comes with the appropriate hardware um, to go to attach that clip. And uh, so what I'm going to be doing here in this video is I'm going to be um, using, this is my brother the 5th Z's. This is a roach belly cold steel. And uh, I'm going to be making a uh, Kydex sheath for this knife because the one they had, uh, I'm just not really a big fan of, and this is going to be a whole lot better. So there, this is what it's going to look like, and I have to say, I am extremely impressed with these kits already. Um, you know, I'm going to go through this video as quickly as I can, but um, this is what it is going to look like, and I got absolute rock solid um, finished product on that and I'm really happy with that. That is super, super nice. Uh, you know, um, go ahead and give you an introduction of how I'm going to get started and what you need to know. So first up, you know, you got to have the appropriate size knife. I think they have different size kits. Um, this, this one here is for like, you know, knife anywhere from a three, I believe a three to like a five inch blade. So this is sort of how the roach belly is going to fit in there. Just a little bit of the handle sticking out. You know, I may leave a little bit more. Um, so you got, got to have your kit prepared, or you know, remove the pocket clip from the Kydex, and then you want to uh, prepare your knife surface here, and then also attach some tape uh, showing how far you know I want the knife to go into the sheath. And the reason to, uh, the tape on the blade is uh, so when the Kydex gets real soft, you're actually going to you know protect um, the Kydex you know from your your knife blade accidentally sliding through it or damaging your sheath before it hardens. Okay, so you prepare your knife blade, then you have your, your kit ready, and you also want to have, um, this is like for, especially for Kydex um, you know, form fitting, it's just some foam right here, uh, works great. You want to have a heat gun, and then once you get all that ready, then you make sure you have some sort of gloves to work with, you know, preferably like a cotton base, something that won't melt. Um, I think these are um, some sort of a lamb skin or something, so they're, they're good to go. You want to have a, like a small bowl of water or something then like a rag or a towel that you don't care about getting messed up and then uh, maybe like a, a pen or pencil to do any fine work and you'll see how how that goes but without uh, further ado I'm going to go ahead and get started here so uh, first up you notice that the knife you know is not going to go all the way in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat my heat gun up and get things started so here we go
two Kydex sheaths that are finished. I've already seen uh, this completed one for the Boker knife. And in fact, I'm just going to give a little bit of uh, hints and, and tips, you know, from my knowledge, like uh, because I'm I'm still really new to. Uh, uh, working with Kydex sheaths and uh, setting them up. I've never really done that before, but the the kits, you know, made by Armory Plastics here, I have to say, um, make it, you know, quite easy. I mean, I did them both really in under an hour, um, but I'll talk about the larger knife first just because I think it was uh, easier um, to get this one done because it had the larger choil on there, so I was able to sort of work that in better, and I think I got a better tire uh, fit much quicker. I did it with a smaller knife, um, and just, you know, like I said, a few tips on that would, I would say, you know, when you wear the gloves, um, you can tell on the Kydex where I did work on it more, where the heat got it, it's a little more shiny, uh, which is fine, and then I, I did that indention on there as well, that little dimple, and then uh, when you do that, I actually did use my gloved hands, you know, and with a, like a little bit of water in the towel, and I, I actually just used my thumb, and I really dug deep in there in that choil, and then I was able to really lock that in. And I gotta say, I mean, for a knife that size, um, that's awesome and locked in there. It's a fairly heavy knife. And then uh, to recap with the uh, the smaller cold steel roach belly, I did have a harder time uh, doing this. Actually, so you know, I had to apply a, a lot of pressure. Even though it was, you know, you get it nice and soft, and it's still, um, I think, with a smaller knife, it was a little bit more difficult for me. But um, I think it turned out um, very well because, I mean, I've got no extra blade play, and um, the knife is in there fine. So you know, and uh, you can tell. I mean, it's it's a pretty good fit this knife. So with all that being said, I've really got to give it to Armory Plastics for. Uh, for their kits here. I think they're in like the $20 range and you know, like I said, they're going to offer uh, different sizes. You could always, you know, get with them and tell them, hey, you know, I've got a larger knife, you know, give them the, you know, give them the dimensions. They can, you know, figure something up. And um, yeah, just, just really, um, you know, really neat, really well thought out. And, um, you know, just with a little time and patience, you can get it, uh, get a really good fit. I mean, on both these, I mean, that's that's not bad, you know, for, like I said, I've never really messed with Kydex, just, just a little bit here and there, nothing serious, you know, just like refitting things, but this was like, you know, almost doing it from scratch. I mean, obviously, you know, a lot of the hard work's knocked out of the way, um, you know, due to, you know, it being a kit, which is, which is awesome. So, um, yeah, I mean, I got to give this five out of five stars because, you know, I got two knives set up here, good to go, and uh, I'm really happy with, you know, I, I like how they look. You know, I mean, you know, some parts of it, tend, you know, there's a little bit, um, a little bit of lumpiness going on there. Nothing crazy, nothing too bad. I was able to make sure, um, you know, you can tell they're nice and flat. So, yeah, I, I really dig these kits. Uh, I'm going to recommend them to anybody looking for, you know, an extra uh, Kydex sheath for a knife. You know, maybe your leather sheath gave out on you or something. You're wanting a new one on you, and you don't mind doing it on your own. Obviously, you don't need a lot of supplies to do it, but the big thing was the heat gun, and you can get those for like 12 bucks, or like Harbor Freight. So, anyway, so thank you so much for watching the video, and thanks again to Armory Plastics for sending me these kits. I had a really good time. Uh, I, I really did. I, I really enjoyed uh, working with these. So, uh, thanks again, and have a good one.